Hey everyone, it's me, Danny, and today I wanted to do a flip through of my winter sketchbook. So the first page of my sketchbook is basically something that I do last, and that's because I have the dates when I started and finished my sketchbook. So as you can see, I started the sketchbook in October of 2018 and finished it just um, a few weeks ago in February of 2019. So when I started the sketchbook, it was still really nice out. Um, I was with some friends and we were in uh, the small town of Schwetzingen and did some sketching. Um, and it was just a great way to really take in uh, the fall weather, the sunshine, and the burst of colors that we had um, this fall before things got pretty uh, bleak and dreary here in uh, Germany in the winter. Um, the sketch on the right is actually a sketch that I did based off of a photo. Um, and I also did a speed painting um, or speed video of um, the sketch. So if you're interested, um, you can have a look at um, that. And it was just something um, I wanted to try out since the weather was really bad that day. The next uh, sketch that I did was actually something that I started this winter and um, that's basically food sketches. So I've done a few before, but this winter I really started sketching food. And um, in this case, I went to a French bakery, got some pastries, and I know I misspelled eclair. Um, thank you to all of those uh, people on Instagram who made me aware of that. But um, yeah, you know, it's not a huge deal. Um, I had fun eating and sketching some French pastries, and um, it was sort of a, a change from the urban sketches that I usually do. Uh, the next sketchbook spread is actually of a um, garbage incinerator um, or trash incinerator plant that we went to in Ludwigshafen um, with a group of sketchers and basically uh, we had the opportunity to take a tour of the entire um, incinerator and to sketch different things so sort of your unconventional sketch but um, you know when the weather is uh, cold out, uh, you sort of look for new things to do, and this is one thing that um, we got to do with a, a group of urban sketchers. The next two sketches, as you can see, are obviously um, from the fall when everything was when it's in its prime colors. Um, the sketch I did on the left um, is from the Beitmann Park here in Frankfurt, um, which was a Chinese um, Chinese garden, and I say was because um, it unfortunately suffered an arson attack um, about a year ago, so all that's really left for you to see is the outside wall, which is what I sketched here. Um, the sketch on the right is then from the Bockenheimer Anlage, which is another um, little park actually uh, in downtown Frankfurt, and um, yeah, I just really had fun sketching the trees and also the reflections on the water. It was just a really, uh, really fun thing to try out. And obviously keeping with the fall theme, um, in early November I gathered some leaves one day on a walk around town and um, decided to take them home with me and to dry, try sketching you know, the fall colors and doing some close-ups. And um, yeah, I, I'm actually quite happy with how this spread turned out. It was a really fun thing to, to do. And as you can see, you know, I'm sort of, if you look at my um, other sketchbook videos or my fall sketchbook video, you'll see that I did a lot of urban sketching and now that winter has come, I've sort of shifted my focus. So I, I try new things and um, as much as I'm not a winter person, I'm thankful for the fact that winter gets me out and trying new things. So, you know, sketching food or, you know, maybe sketching things like the fall colors. Um, I was also in the Netherlands in early November and um, sketched this windmill in Leiden on location. It was a rainy day, uh, started storming, but I found um, a place to sketch from the interior of a parking garage with a great view, and so I was able to, to finish this on location. And the sketch on the right is actually um, a building that I saw while taking a walk in Amsterdam, and I just loved it so much but did not have time to sketch it on location, so I took a picture and um, actually sketched this on the train ride back to Frankfurt. So one way to, to pass the time on the train, I guess. All right, so as you can see, <laughs> another food sketch. Um, for this one, I just sketched my dinner one night. I had made like turkey and cheese sandwiches, had a salad, some nuts, 
Um, and I also tried playing around with some new lettering. So I always love, you know, how uh, lettering and uh, sketches, how they complement one, one another. And um, yeah, this was a, a fun way to sort of uh, play around with that and also to, um, to do another food sketch. Then in um, November, I believe it was, yeah, the 18th of November, um, I had another meetup with some other sketchers, and this time we went to Wetzlar, which is a, uh, a small town in the northern part of Hesse, um, so central Germany, and we just sketched along the Lahn River, and then we also went close to the, uh, I don't know if it's a cathedral, I don't think it's a cathedral, but the main church, and uh, sort of sketched the, uh, the tower. So that was a, a cool outing, although it was very cold, despite the sun. Now another food sketch, um, this time of a German pretzel. Um, I don't think I did the best job here of necessarily differentiating between um, dark and light tones, but um, it was still good practice nonetheless. Here's another sketchbook spread, um, also from a sketchy meetup, this time in Mainz. We went to an old abandoned um, storefront and I sketched the view from the storefront um, out onto the main street, and then the same view, uh, but in the other direction, um, basically facing the, uh, the courtyard. And then I was in Berlin, actually, for work, and I extended my stay um, and met up with a local sketcher, and we decided to do some sketching around Berlin. So we sketched the, uh, the Kaiser Wilhelm Memorial Church in downtown Berlin and we also went to a brewery and um, sketched there and, and if you've seen some of my people sketches before actually you'll notice I don't really sketch the people um, I do sort of contours and um, have the the background and people sometimes ask me you know why do you leave your people white and I think that's because for me um, people come and go they're part of the scene but um, they're not a stationary object and so you know you have the background that stays there it's it's not going anywhere and the people you know they're sort of floating in and out of the space so I guess that's why sort of subconsciously I've always um, sort of left my people white this is another uh, sketch from Berlin we went to a um, an antique car garage and um, yeah just had fun on a Sunday um, sketching old cars then I went to a museum here in Frankfurt and um, sketched a few different things. So um, they had like a, a stuffed parrot that I sketched, and then I also um, went upstairs and they had a bunch of uh, an, a bunch of insects, and so I sketched uh, some different moths. And um, I'm actually really happy with how these two turned out. Um, they were really fun to sketch, um, even though some of the other bugs were a bit creepy looking. But these ones I liked. And then another food sketch. Um, I went to a cafe um, shortly before Christmas and was just eating a bagel and thought, oh, you know, it'd be sort of cool to, um, to show the different steps of the bagel, you know, eating the bagel. So when I got it, it was freshly toasted. Then I had a few bites and then half of it was already gone. Then um, I flew to Florida over Christmas time and I, I did a video on urban sketching in Florida. So um, if you haven't seen that, make sure to take a look at that. But um, this was a spread I did on the plane ride from Frankfurt to Chicago. So I flew via Chicago. Um, I'm not 100% happy with this spread just because um, I think it's a bit too busy um, in places, it's a bit too dark, but um, you know, it's always, actually a big challenge to sketch on planes. Um, my flight left at 8 a.m. so I was super tired uh, from having to wake up I think at around 5. Um, it was a turbulent ride. The lighting was really bad um, but I guess given all those conditions um, it still turned out all right. And then I arrived in Florida and um, it was just so nice to do some urban sketching again to sketch on location. Um, this was a small beach house um, near where we were staying, right along the beach, and it was sort of fun to, to sketch, you know, the, the dunes and to um, play around with the sand. 
And then I also sketched the, sketched the uh, Intracoastal Waterway, also in Florida, the next day. Uh, these sketches are also from Florida, so Christmas Eve I was also at the beach. Um, did a, a quick sketch just of the shoreline and then some seashells. And uh, then another vacation home, I think that was actually the day after Christmas. Yeah, the 26th. Then uh, I was also in St. Petersburg, Florida, not Russia, Florida. Um, and sketched the marina there. And um, then when coming back to Germany, I had some seashells with me and so um, I thought that'd be a fun way to sort of reminisce and sort of keep the, uh, the, the memories of Florida alive. So I just collected some seashells and then um, also looked online to see what sort of types of shells they were. Um, this is another museum sketch. Uh, I sketched a few different um, statues at a museum um, nearby and these were um, sort of Asian statues. So this one was, um, I think, Guan Di is how you pronounce it, a god of, of war and wealth. And then this one was a, a big Buddha um, statue that I sketched. Here's another uh, set of sketches from a museum. Um, this was an old German car, um, a statue of an old uh, Kaiser, and then a, an old medieval coin. So I sort of tied them together with a um, wash of color here in the background. And um, yeah, my orchid started blossoming in January, so I also sketched that. That was sort of fun to, to sketch something green or, you know, some plants um, in the middle of winter. Um, and then I also had dinner one night with some sketchers um, in Wiesbaden, so close by Frankfurt. And uh, once again, I just sort of did the contours, but had fun doing something in the foreground. So, you know, a drink I was having and then also sketching the background of the bar. Um, here's another set of sketches from a museum. So as you can see, I was basically just sketching food and um, sketching the museums this winter. Um, they had a stuffed zebra, which was really fun to sketch, um, some bugs, a small little frog, and a lobster. So actually, the lobster and the zebra, they were both really fun to sketch. Um, so I'll have to keep that in mind for next winter. You know, museums, um, definitely when it comes to sort of crustaceans and small little things, um, they're always fun to sketch. Here's another food sketch. Um, I had a chicken wrap one night and didn't really know what to do and felt like sketching, so this is what I did. So chicken wrap, chips, and uh, yeah, an apple. Then I was back in the Netherlands for a weekend. Um, I sketched the view from a friend's apartment, so looking at the townhouses. Um, and then this tower um, was something I sketched on my train ride back, so I'd gone for a walk in the afternoon with my friend. Um, and yeah, I, I saw this beautiful building and thought, oh, you know, it'd be a fun thing to sketch on the train ride back. So I've sketched inside trains before and I've sketched the, uh, the view sitting at a seat um, in the train. And I don't know, I guess I just have gotten tired of that. So the past few times I've been in the Netherlands, um, I sort of take a picture so I can sketch some architecture on the train ride back. Uh, then I went to a greenhouse um, and that was also really fun to, to sketch. It was a rainy day, cold, um, but just to be out in the, you know, with all this greenery around you, um, it was just really fun. So um, sketched here, they had this sort of passageway. Um, then they had a, I think it's called Strelitzia. I'm not a botany expert, but sort of like a, um, I think it's a bird of paradise flower. I think that's what it's called. So they had those blooming and then they also had like a cactus garden. So that was cool to, to sketch as well. Then I went to Malaga, actually just um, at the end of February, and um, had a ton of inspiration to do some urban sketching again. So um, already, you know, on the flight from Frankfurt to Malaga, I was sketching on the plane. Um, I did a little sketch of my palette and then, you know, the view from the window seats. I always try and get a window seat when I'm flying, um, just because it's A, fun to sketch, and B, I just love looking at, um, at the scenery. And yeah, then I arrived in Malaga and um, did the sketch of the cathedral. Um, and yeah, it was a bit difficult at first, just, you know, having this view and looking up 
words, but um, I think I got the architectural structure um, down pretty, pretty well on this one. Then I had some more Malaga sketches. Um, this was the town hall, the Casa Consistorial in Malaga. And actually I got pooped on by birds three times while sketching this. So I kept having to move um, from where I was sitting and I made the mistake of sitting under trees. So yeah, never sit under trees if you hear birds chirping, that's just calling for a disaster. But luckily nothing got on my sketchbook, so I would have been pretty upset had that happened. Um, and then, yeah, I sketched also the view from the castle in Malaga, so this was looking towards the old town, towards the cathedral, and played around with some, some white contour lines. And then the last sketch from this book is the, um, the castle in Malaga. I met up with another urban sketcher um, and illustrator from Malaga, and um, we just had a great time um, sketching together and, you know, exchanging sketching stories. And it was just so nice to, uh, to be outside, sketching outside, and to, you know, sketch some architecture and some scenery again. So, yeah, that's my winter sketchbook. Um, I actually started a new sketchbook while I was in Spain. So I also went to Granada and I started um, my new sketchbook when I was in Granada. So. Um, stay posted. You can always follow me along uh, on my travels on Instagram um, or um, here on YouTube. I'm trying to make a sketchbook video each time I finish a sketchbook since I think it's just a great way to sort of um, go back through my memories and talk about my sketches and um, yeah, relive the moments. So thanks for watching.